I have found myself back in Adobe Project Neo. For whatever reason, these videos just seem to be doing really well with you guys. We're gonna jump into the software and create some more simple 3D things. So without further ado, let's get into it. Back in Adobe Project Neo, we are confronted with our cube and our platform. You know how I like to do. I like to delete these and we're gonna delete this as well. I'm also gonna change my aspect ratio to the 16.9 or 16 by nine aspect ratio 8K. It's a little insane, honestly, but when you export it, it ends up looking better. All right, let's get into this. We're in the spooky season, right? So we're gonna start with something a little fun, a little festive. I'm gonna start by creating a pumpkin. So we'll start with the, my little pill over here. We find that in the left toolbar. I'm going to, I think that's actually a good height. We'll start with that, and I'm going to change the color. I'm gonna change the color now. Usually it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna end up duplicating this object a lot. So I'm gonna change it now so I don't have to go back and change the color a billion times. It's gonna be orange, right, obviously. And I think I want it to be shiny, so we'll put this roughness down. Some people don't like it probably, but I like this cheap plastic looking uh, effect when you pull the roughness all the way down. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll put the metallicness up a little bit. And so we'll start here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, paste it. I'm gonna move it out ever so slightly. And then I'm going to, let's move it a little bit more. Grab this little arrow. I'm gonna copy this, paste. So Command C, Command V, just like on any other software. And we're going to make this weird little shape. And it probably doesn't look like anything, but just wait, the magic's gonna happen. Let's grab both of these. Again, Command C, Command V. And I'm going to grab my little rotation tool. I'm gonna hold Shift. And look at that, perfect little rotation. And guess what, you, you can already guess what we're gonna do. Command C, Command V, rotate this again. Perfect, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like exactly perfect, but just get it, you know, eyeball, symmetrical. And we'll do it one more time, Command C, Command V, get it in a decent place. And look at that, I've got the overall outline shape of the pumpkin. All right, so this is looking good. What I don't like, I think it's a little bit too tall. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm going to change it to 0.4. So 0.4 on my height and that'll shrink this. And now I think that's a good height. So I'll come through and I'll do this to everything. I'm much more happy with this height. I think this is, this is what I was going for. Now what we need to do is add a little stem to the top. There's a bunch of different ways we could add a stem. I'm gonna go the lazy way probably. I think I'm just gonna grab my cylinder, pull this over here. Let's make this a little smaller. That, pull this guy in just a little bit and we'll make it shorter. And I think I want to inflate it a little bit. So let's see. Yeah, just a little bit inflated. Maybe get the top corner. And let's change this color. Let's make it green. It could be brown, I guess. There's all kinds of different colors it could be, but I think we're going to go with the green. Pull that roughness down. Get a little shine on it. Nice. So now all I need to do is just move it onto the top of my pumpkin. And again, all we're doing is just grabbing those arrows and uh, sliding it on top. And now you can see I've got this full 3D pumpkin. How, I mean, what did that take? Two minutes, maybe three minutes? I don't know, especially with the power of editing. I'm sure that was even faster, but super simple. I can go ahead and export this and I can do all different types of compositions with this. I'll probably do something like that at the end, but here's the pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and change this background too. Maybe like black, I guess. Like maybe that might be fun. Could be brown. Maybe brown is good for fall. That's actually pretty nice. Let's play with the lighting a little bit too. So I've got rotation. I think the rotation's fine. Let's maybe do like a better view. Here we go. The height, I can change the height of this. Again, I'm not mad at where I was. I think it's fine. A little bit of shadow actually. Yeah, let's, let's get a little bit of shadow. Definitely gonna wanna adjust the metallicness of this. Get a little bit too much of a shadow on here. Yeah, that's looking nice. I'm happy with that. And obviously we have our styles over here. So we have expressive and I can change the thickness of these lines. This one's fine. I did see, I think this is a new update. You have to go through and change the colors of the expressiveness, which you have like sync colors over here. So there's three different, it's like a halftone expression thing. I don't know how I feel about that because it's like double the work. Now I got to come back through and like change everything. It's fine. I'm not really a big fan of that style anyways. So I'm probably not even going to mess with it. And then we've got the pixel art, which pixel art could be really cool. But again, for this video, I think we're just going to focus on the realistic. Something really cool you can do with this too is that I come over here to my download. I can click MP4 video. Let's change this duration to 16 seconds. And then I'm going to do four rotations. And then watch, if I click start preview, it'll just sit here and make a quick little animation, which is super cool. So I could actually change this to a green screen, or I could change the background to green, I could download this, and then I could just 
key out the green and I can have a 3D animation, super simple. Again, too, I already hear the comments, do this in Blender, there's so many easier ways. That's not, this is not for you. This video is not for you if you're saying stuff like that. This is for complete beginners, people who are familiar with Adobe Illustrator. This is, this is for them. So maybe this, go find a different video. This is for them. I'm happy with this pumpkin. I'm gonna come over here to download and I'm going to download as a PNG. Make sure to check the transparent background if you don't want a background. I don't, because I'm gonna put my own. Pumpkin's done, I've got a new canvas here. Let's make our next thing. We're gonna start with my triangle. I'm just going to place it right here. Let's get this looking the right way, perfect. Zoom in a little bit. Got my triangle right here. What I wanna do is I'm gonna go all the way down to volume and I'm going to inflate this. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, this inflation's good. Now I'm gonna take this little cube right here and just stretch it up, perfect. Put this back in the frame a little bit. Maybe we can stretch the bottom just a touch. Now we have a nice little rounded triangle. Let's turn this color to white. So I'll stretch it all the way to the white and I'm gonna pull the roughness down, metallic up, nice, okay. So again, it's super simple. Here's where the magic's gonna happen. This, it's really just gonna turn this into its own thing. I'm gonna grab my cube tool right here, stretch it out, grab my selection tool, we'll pull this down and we'll stretch it all the way out, maybe up a little bit. And then we're going to make sure it's all the way in the middle of this. And then we want to stretch it down, or we'll pull it down after we stretched it. And I might need to move it up a little bit. Actually, that looks good. So we're gonna turn this yellow. You should start understanding what's happening. Maybe you don't, you'll see though. All right, we've got this yellow and it's all the way at the bottom, which is good. So now I can come over here and just on my combine panel, I can click color. And then that makes that, that color, which is exactly what we want. I'm actually gonna make it a little bigger, rotate it just a touch. We're gonna copy this, paste it. We're gonna move this up, make it a little shorter. And now we're gonna make this orange. And you should see what's going on. We have a candy corn, super simple. This was probably the easiest one of this group. I think this one's in a good spot, so we're gonna go ahead and download this one. I've exported both of these designs. I've got my pumpkin on the left and I've got my candy corn on the right. Super simple to export. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys along as I export a bunch of different angles and we'll just go ahead and make this thumbnail of this video and I'll show you. I'll show you how you can take these simple 3D objects and practically use them. I've got a bunch of different angles of my pumpkin and my candy corn. I threw these in Figma. Obviously Photoshop's probably gonna be better for photo manipulation and whatever, but I thought this would be quicker and I could just show you guys how I kind of use these assets to make my images. I've got this 1920 by 1080, that's the standard thumbnail size of a YouTube video. I'm gonna change this background color to something a little bit more festive. I also have like a little uh, gradient in the middle and then I've got this image, which is just these sparkles. Feel free to use those or not. I think it's just cool for the effect. I'm gonna start with my pumpkin. We'll throw this right in the middle. Maybe give it a little rotation. Sweet, now we'll grab a candy corn. And there's really no like rhyme or reason to this. We're just gonna start like placing things where I think they might look good. Grab another candy corn. Maybe we'll have this one down here. Let's grab my pumpkin. And we're just gonna play with this. There's, again, I, like I said, there's no like rhyme or reason for this. We just, whatever feels good. What, what looks right, what feels good. And as you see, as you start adding all these things, it really starts looking like a composition. You're like, oh wow, like this looks like it was all made together. It's just really cool. I, I enjoy doing little things like this. So obviously I'm gonna go through and clean this up a little bit, but I wanted to show you how you can take these things from Project Neo, export them and use them practically. This is my third video doing something like this, just quick 3D objects. I'm gonna have these in the thumbnail. You probably saw it because you clicked on this video. I feel like it can't get any more simple than that. Adobe Max is happening in a couple weeks and I have a really strong feeling that they're gonna announce a lot more about Project Neo. So once that happens, I'll definitely make an update video. Hopefully we get some cooler things like we can export as objects. We'll get some more uh, textures, things like that. So. For now, this is cool. I just wanna keep making these videos, showing you guys what's up with it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to get back to you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys liked the video, you already know what to do. Until the next time, peace.